What's going on? It's Mr. Sanchez here coming at you with another lesson for Algebra 2. Today we're going to be doing lesson 19-1 and 2. Uh, it's 1 and 2 because we're going to go be going over the X1 and properties covered in, in that section of our book. Our learning, our learning targets for today are to develop basic exponent properties, simplify expressions involving exponents, and then understand what is meant by a negative and zero powers, okay? Um, before we go that though, we need to know what, uh, we need to, we need to know, learn a new, new terms. We need to go over power expressions. All right, power express, expressions look like this. This expression is a power, three to the power of four is a power. Uh, the number, the big number, the base is going to be three. So three is our base. And the exponent is the little number on top. So that's going to be to the power of four. The term power may also refer to the exponent. So um, right here, um, you can I can actually write it. it says, it's, although technically it should just be exponent, we also call that the power. And when you read an expression that looks like this, we usually read it as three to the power of four. So we got to get familiar with, with saying things like that in this class. Um, but what is a power, right? So uh, when you're when you're writing a power expression. Um, this is a simplified way of telling us we're repeating our multiplication. So the expanded form of three to the power of four is gonna be three times three times three times three. So that's basically the expanded form. That's what a power expression tells us. It's a repeated multiplication, okay? So we're gonna go over some examples and let's see uh, to help us identify the base and the exponents, okay? So here we have, all right, so we have this problem. It says identify the base and the exponent of the following power expression. So we have one, two, and number three, and then write it in expanded form. So our base is gonna be this number right here. So for this one, our base is the number two, and our, and our exponent is gonna be this five. It's the power of five. So two to the power of five, and that means we're just gonna be multiplying two times itself five times. So two times two times two times two and times two. That's the expanded form. Okay, so for problem number six, same for the six to the power of two, our base is six, right? So we're gonna write our base is six and our exponent is gonna be two. One thing about um the power of two, Sometimes we'll say six squared. That's another way of saying to the power of two. And so this is gonna, if you write this in expanded form, it's just gonna be six times six. Cause you're only multiplying, there's gonna be two sixes being multiplied. Okay. And then for this next one, we're gonna have five to the power of four. So the base is gonna be five, right? This is our base. And our exponent is gonna be four. So. That's our x1. And so when we write it in expanded form, it's going to be 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. So it's going to be 5 multiplied by itself 5 times. All right. All right. And that's the very basics of a, of a power expression. Now we're going to actually learn some basic exponent rules, OK? In class, we'll have more time to see why certain things are what they are, but for now, I'm just gonna give you guys the exponent rules. All right, so what I want you guys to do is take out a piece of paper and I want you guys to write this all down um, because it's gonna be very important that you know all of these rules. Yes, they will be available to you during our decimals activities, but um, you're still gonna need to know them, okay? So let's start with the first property, property of um, that says power of one. So when you have any number to the power of one. Okay, so to the power of one is the same thing as just writing the base. So that's the rule. When you have anything to the power of one, you're just gonna turn it into eight, um, just that number. And it's always the base. So in this case, a to the power of one is the base. Therefore, it's gonna be a, okay? Um, here we have an example. What's gonna be five to the power of one? What's that gonna be? That's gonna be five. All right? Twenty to the power of one is also gonna be twenty. Because that's the base, right? This these are the bases. And then x to the power of one is also gonna be just x. 
because the ba- we just we're just keeping the base. That's what um the power of one rule says. The power of zero rule. This one's a little bit different. So the power of zero. Anything to the power of zero is always going to be one. Doesn't matter what it is. Um, we're going to get zero. So it's always one. That's what you have to remind, tell yourself to remember what to do. All right. So let's look at this example. Five to the power of zero is going to actually be equal to the number one. If I could just get my pencil to write. Give me one second. There we go. So it's going to be one. 20 to the power of zero. That's also going to be one. And the cool thing is, even for exponents, it's going to be to the power of one. So we're going to write to the x um to the power of zero is always going to equal to one. So even x even variables become power of one. I think I said exponents earlier, but if your exponent is zero, even variables turn to one. We're all trying to say. Next up, we got what's called the product rule. What's the product power of a product, right? So we have a time a to the power of n multiplied a to the power of n. So whenever you have this, you your brain should tell you you're going to keep the base and then you're going to add the exponents, right? And then, so keep base, add exponents. That's the rule. Okay. So let's do, let's go ahead and do this example. Two to the power of three times two to the power of two. First of all, this only works when the base is the same. Let's write that. Base has to be the same. Otherwise, the rule doesn't work, okay? So if the base is the same, they are, right? So we're gonna keep our base, which is two, and then we're gonna add our exponents. What's three plus two, right? That's what it's asking. Two, two, three plus two, that's gonna be two to the power of five. And you're gonna check again, three to the power of four times three to the power of five. So it's the same base, you're gonna, re, you're gonna keep that base three, and you're gonna add four times plus five, okay? And what's four plus five is gonna be nine. So this is gonna be three to the power of nine. And then this also works for um, variables as well. So it's gonna, the base is the same, they're both X. So you're gonna keep your X and you're gonna have X squared times X cubed. So two plus three, which is gonna give us X to the power of five, right? Right, okay, so now, uh, we got to try our next rule, okay? Our next rule is what we call the power of a quotient. So power of a, of a quotient is basically saying that um, our power rule, our, our, our power is going to involve some sort of fraction, okay? So once again, your base has to be the same, a to the m or to, divided by a to the m. So base has to be the same. So it follows this same rule up here, um, right? So I'll put this star here, it applies as well. So whenever you have that, you're gonna keep the base and then you're gonna do the top exponent minus the bottom. So this is top exponent minus bottom exponent. Okay? That's how it works. All right? And if you want, if the, the words you're gonna say is you're gonna keep base Subtract exponent, top exponent minus bottom exponent. Remember it that way. Okay, and so we have an example here. Two to the power of five divided by two of, to the power of two. Since they're the same base, we're gonna keep that same base. And then you're gonna do power of the top minus the power of the bottom. So that's gonna give us two to the power of three, which we like to say as two cube, um, cubed. Um, so if you hear me say cubed, I mean power of three. Next, same thing, exponents are the same, right? The base is the same, so we're gonna keep the x. And we're gonna top exponent minus bottom exponent, right? Which is gonna equal two x to the power of one. And if you remember the power of one rule, anything to the power of one is just x. It's just the base, I mean. Next up, we have the negative power. Negative power is a lot, um, a little bit more interesting. The negative power basically means you have a base and then the, the exponent is negative, right? So what you're gonna do whenever you have that, you're gonna rewrite it as one over a to the switch sign. So what you wanna do is you're gonna change the sign of the exponent and flip the base, right? So it's now one over a, okay? And so we have some examples here. So now we have two to the power of three. 
So what are we gonna do? We're gonna flip, we're gonna change. We're gonna flip the base, right? We're not gonna do it one over. And then you're gonna change the, you're gonna change the negative three to positive three. And then there we go, one over two cubed. All right. When you actually have a fraction, you're gonna turn that into a regular, you're just gonna flip the fraction, right? So we're gonna change this into two. You can write over one, but two over one is just two. And instead of having negative two, you're gonna have two squared. Okay. And then this one here is gonna become one over x to the power of one, which we know is one over x. Okay. Okay. Negative exponents are harder, and we're gonna spend a lot more time working on negative exponents on the second day of class. So not on, so it, um, you'll, you'll see when we work on this more in class, okay? Um, next up, we have the last rule, which is a power of a power. And this is a, is a section we're gonna work on um, a lot by our, uh, on the third day of this lesson, okay? So whenever we have power of exponents, we have the power of A, to the power a to the power of m to the power and then the whole thing to the power of n. Whenever you have power of a power, you're gonna keep the base and then multiply the exponents. Right? So a equals m to the n. Keep base, multiply exponents. All right, so let's just try some simple ones out right here. And we have five to the power of two to the power of three, right? Out of that to the power of three. So you're gonna do five to the power of two, and then you're gonna multiply this exponent to the power of three, which means you're gonna have five to the power of six. This is supposed to be blue, but whatever. Same thing, even if you have x, you're gonna keep the base, and then you're gonna multiply the exponent four times five, which is gonna give us x to the 20, okay? All righty, and we're gonna go on to our next and final four examples in which we, we apply these rules to simplify some expressions, okay? It's gonna seem kinda hard, but we're gonna have a lot of time in class to work on this together, okay? So we're gonna go to the next page and we're gonna go here, right? So we have example one, simplify the following expression. Um, so first things first, I'm gonna rewrite this problem so all the numbers are a certain color and all the x's are a different color. So it's gonna be two x to the five times five x to the four. All right, now that I've rewritten it like this, we're gonna multiply the numbers with the numbers and then the, the, the variables with the variables, okay? So you're gonna rewrite this as two times five and then times x to the power of five times x to the power of four, okay? Two times five, we know that's 10, so that's easy, right? Right, and then this here follows this part right here. This is actually the power of a product. If you look back to this rule over here, power of a product, or because we have the same base, we have to add the exponents, okay? So we're gonna have x to the power of five plus four. So what's that going to equal to? That's gonna be 10 to the power of x, to the x, 10 times x to the power of nine. Bam. And that's, we use the power of a product, okay? Right here. All right, and then that's basically all we gotta do. We just gotta, we just have to apply some of the rules to simplify the, ex, the expressions as much as we can. So let's go over to example B. All right, this one's similar thing. We're gonna divide everything. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna use three, um, four different colors to show you, all right? So we're gonna have the numbers by itself. So we're gonna have two, and then I guess the X's are gonna be green, and the Y's are gonna be two, uh, blue, right? All over X, and then Y squared. And then technically, there's an invisible one here. Now what we wanna do, is separate this okay we're gonna re we're gonna separate it like this i'm gonna have two over one the times x to the power of five over x times y to the power of four over y squared okay 
2 over 1, 2 divided by 2, 1 is going to be 2. x to the 5 over x, that's going to be the same thing. So same base, and we're going to apply the, the power of a quotient. So it's going to be 5 minus 1 times same base, so y, and then 4 minus 2. And then that's going to give us the following rule, 2, 2 times x, 5 minus 1 is to the power of 4 y and then 4 minus 2 is going to give us 2. In class, I'll show you the long way to get this answer. All right, so that's how you get that answer. Let's go ahead and do this one. Right here, you're going to notice it's the same base, right? So 2 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of negative 6. Same base, and you're multiplying, so that's going to be the, the power of a product. You're going to have 2 to the 3 plus negative 6, right? 3 plus negative 6 is actually going to be negative 3, right? And then we do not like negative exponents. So 2 to the negative 3, that's the quotient, the negative power. So you're going to just flip the fraction, flip the, um, the base, and then make the power positive. And boom, there we go. And this next one is the last one for the day, all right? Um, now we have 4x to the negative 2 times 4x cubed. If you do this, you're going to do the quotient rule, right? So you're going to have 4, that's going to stay by itself, times, and then x, here's the quotient rule, negative 2 minus the bottom. So top minus bottom, so that's going to be the 3, right? And you're going to get 4 times x and then negative two minus three is negative five. And then you, you might want to leave it like that, but we got to leave it so that there's only positive exponents. So to, we got to turn this into a positive exponents. So you're going to turn it into four times one over x to the power of five, which is the same thing as four over x to the power of five. And that's from the negative exponent rule. And we'll practice the negative exponents on the um, we're going to have a day where that's all we focus on, okay? And that's it. That's it for today's video. I know it's a longer one, but um, we're going to have a lot of time, and it just does cover two sections of the book, and so it's a longer video, but it'll be more, more points, okay? Bye-bye.